Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. Before I start, I want to ask you one thing. Are you practicing enough to improve your English? If not, you need to promise me one thing. Every day from today for the next three months, promise that you will practice at least 15 minutes daily. Done? The deal is fixed? Great! So my dear friends, in today's video, I'm going to share with you some useful information, some useful topics which I'm going to share with you and I'm sure you will benefit. How to improve your English speaking skills. Your English will be fluent the way I'm going to share with you today. So please watch this video till the end. And yes, I keep uploading videos almost every day. So please subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon go to my channel and see there are so many beautiful videos which I have made specially for you all so now before I start I have a question for you this is the question you can see this sentence this was the first time Robin had been to London dash his own and he was feeling a bit scared so the answer will be what number a by Number B, for. Number C, on. Number D, in. Please think and send it to me. I will reply to you. Now let's come to the main part of today's video. Let's understand how to improve our English speaking. Number one, speaking comes last. Yes, my dear friends, you may be shocked. But speaking comes last. Why I am saying so? Okay, let's take this example. Suppose you want to express something. Okay, you want to say something. But you don't know what to say. You don't know what vocabulary to use. How to say it. What tense to use. How to make sentences. Then how you will start a conversation. Is it possible? It is not possible. So, first thing what you need to do. You need to learn some basic words. And collocations. Yes, collocations are very important because they will help you understand how to use vocabulary words in a sentence correctly. And the second thing you know what? Your language will be more natural and more easily understood. So it is important for you to learn some basic words and collocations used on a regular basis. Let me share with you some examples. Basic collocations like to make the bed. Let me give you an example. You will get an idea. I need to make the bed every day. Second one. To do homework. So how you will frame sentence. My son does his homework after dinner. Number three. To take a risk. How to form sentence. Some people don't take enough risk in life. Next, to give someone advice. Let's form a sentence. The teacher gave us some advice on taking tests. So these are the basic collocations which we need on a regular basis. Few more collocations which we use on a regular basis are to feel free. How to use it? Please feel free to take a seat and enjoy the show. To come prepared. So how to, you will use it? Make sure to come prepared for the test tomorrow. Some business related. To open an account. Would you like to open an account at our bank? To close a deal. I closed a deal on a new account last week. So what is the first step? So the first step is to learn new words and collocations. Don't forget. Secondly, what you need to do? In the second step, you need to write first. Imagine that you want to talk to someone. You want to express your ideas. But you know very well that you are not fluent in English. You are not confident enough. Your mind will not support you when you start speaking. And you will fail to speak properly. Because when it comes to speaking, there are a few important things which is required. Number one, you need to speak fast. And you need to speak immediately. 
you don't have time to think how to construct sentences. So it is always advisable before you start speaking, make a habit, make a practice of writing. Because when you write, you have the freedom to think. You have the freedom to play with different words. You can frame your own sentences. Let's take the example of friends. Okay. First, before you speak, prepare yourself by writing. Make some basic sentences like, I have friends. Then make it a little longer. I have many friends. Add adjectives. I have some close friends. I have a large circle of friends. That means you have many friends. I have a small circle of friends. That means you have very few friends. So in this way, take up a word, think and write it down. So when you face such situation, you can easily use them. These are called prefabricated sentences. When you write it down, this sentences will be stored in your mind. Whenever you come across situations where you have to speak this, it will come out of your mouth. You will not fumble. You will not, not face any difficulty. Also, learn some daily used words, which we use again and again. There are some words. Let me show you. These are the things. Okay. Good luck. Most of the time, we will come across someone who is going for an exam or an interview. You always have to wish. So what you will say, instead of saying good luck, you can say in a different way. Fingers crossed, best of luck, break a leg, blow them away. So this is some phrases you can learn. Next, good morning. Instead of saying good morning every day, you can also change it to morning or walkie walkie. Rise and shine. Good day to you. See, so wonderful, right? Happy birthday. Instead of just saying happy birthday, you can say many happy returns. Second, have a great one. All the best on your special day. Wishing you many more candles to come. Wonderful, right? Good night. How to wish good night? You can say night night or sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed hugs bite. Okay. So in this way, learn words and collocations. Step number three, speaking to yourself. It's a speaking time. You need to speak now. But you will think with whom I will speak. My dear friends, if you don't have anyone, speak to yourself. You just don't need anyone. Remember, when I was learning English, I didn't have anyone. I started with learning English of my own. Standing in front of the mirror helped me a lot. I will advise everyone, pick up this technique and try it out. It's a powerful technique. Speak slow, speak clear. But you will think, who will correct me if I make mistake? My dear friends, you are learning something. Just imagine that you are learning something. And when you make mistake, it means you are on the correct path. If you already know something, why you will waste your time? by learning the same thing. So it's common for everyone. If you, are, if you want to learn something, we will make mistake. And from that mistake, we will learn. We just don't in, need anyone's support. However, if you need, you have different channels. From YouTube you learn, take up some coaching classes, approach some friends, teachers, colleagues. There are so many ways to learn. Pick up a topic, any random topic and start speaking like friendship, like daily routine and speak. Let me sh tell you, okay, let me give you an example. Daily routine. If you pick up uh, the topic daily routine, stand in front of the mirror or just sit down and relax and speak. Small, small sentences. Tomorrow, I need to wake up by five o'clock. I have to go for the marathon. After that, I will go to my college. Post lunch, I have two important classes to attend. Oh, I remember. I have to call my sister. She has her exam tomorrow. Evening. I need to meet my friends. His birthday is there. So I will be having dinner with him. This way, frame sentences in your mind and talk. Amazing technique, my dear friend. So what all things we have learned till now? Number one. Learning words and collocations, 
right before speaking and number three talk to yourself the next important thing you need to start thinking in english i will tell you how maintain a journal and when you wake up in the morning spend 5 to 10 minutes writing your journal what you are going to do the entire day done at night another 5 to 10 minutes just post what you did the entire day this will open up your mind this will make you more flexible thinking in english when you wake up early in the morning your mind will not be in a position to think but when you force your mind you are doing an exercise your mind is doing an exercise and that is a great way to start your day so how to do let's let's do i'm just i just woke up and let me frame what i'm going to do today today i remember i need to go to my brother's hostel he needs some snacks after that i will go to my office i have a very important meeting to attend 2 o'clock i will meet my girlfriend today evening i have a party to attend this way write down think and write this will improve your english thinking skills next talk to yourself in your mind this is a great way wherever you go if you have some free time just talk to yourself how you will talk suppose you are in a gym you are working out when you take some rest observe around and think oh my god this that girl she is so beautiful and she is running in the treadmill so fast oh the music in this gym is very good while you are driving sometimes observe today we have a huge traffic i'm getting bored same way you are cooking just think what you need to cook today what you need to what spices you need to add as for example i have some time to play the guitar you can think if i cannot play properly i need to start learning but let me try if i can play something nice I can play very well. So my dear friends, these are some techniques which I wanted to share with you. Practice it daily for the next 3 months and see the changes. I always tell you, if you like my video, please do subscribe. I wish you all the very best. See you again.